plenty to go. I need a drink of water while this loads. Sure, taking its sweet time. There we go. There's a blade trap. I'm actually going to put this one to good use. Or try to, anyway. Wake up. Oh, you're going to taunt right there? <laughs> Not very bright, was he? Okay, we can go ahead and turn that off. We're going to use these torch traps for these two guys. I think my voice just cracked. That's embarrassing. Come on down! I knew you guys were up there. Man, he's huffing and puffing. He's trying to get here. Okay, I definitely noticed a difference between Master and Legendary. That took a lot of magic just to kill a regular Draugr. You're sure taking your sweet time to get here. Kill cam actually gonna kill him or is it just gonna Nope. Oh he's about dead though. I wanna see if I can turn those kill cams down. I mean they're cool and all, but not when they activate and don't actually kill the guy. Cause we are helpless to avoid any arrows or anything during that kill cam. That could come back to bite us. In the booty! I don't want to be bit in the booty. <laughs> what mission do we have activated? Oh, we still have to talk to Sven back in Riverwood. I'll do that on the way back. Uh, we will be visiting the College of Winterhold later after we acquire the new armor. Join the Stormcloaks. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh-oh. Okay, thought I was going to sneeze, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and deactivate that for now. And this is the Hall of Stories to get... I think this is the Hall... Yeah, it's the Hall of Stories. As you can see, there are markings on the walls. I think it was Moth Bear Moth Owl. Once again, you can double check by selecting whichever claw it is you need and just look on the bottom right here and there's your code. Plain and simple. Yeah. Oh, we are badass. It's the Bat Cave. Okay, maybe not. And here we find the first word of power. Words of power are used for shouts. The famous Fusro Da. As I am certain that you've heard of, this is the first word to that shout. Foos. Show yourself. And now we need to go ham. Because he's definitely going to go ham on us. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, he has a two-handed weapon. 
let's use our potions and get our wolf out. I don't think this wolf is going to last very long, but at least it's something. We have anything up here we can use? No. So this fight is going to consist of a lot of walking around and baiting this guy. So we simply don't have the magic to take him head on. Which is unfortunate. Doesn't make the battle very badass, but hey, at least we get to survive. And I think this Dragger Overlord is the only one you fight in the game. I'm not 100% sure about that, but most of the bosses that you fight are Draugr Overlords, which are insanely powerful. And then there's the Draugr Death Overlord. Those guys... Oh, you got us a little bit. Those guys can use full-powered shouts, all three words. Sometimes they will Fusro die you off the cliff, <laughs> and that's not very fun. It's fun to do it to other people, but not to have it done to you. They will use Fusro Da, uh, they will use Ice Breath, or Frost Breath, not Ice Breath. And what's the other one they will use? Oh, Disarm. Disarm won't affect us at all, obviously, because we are not using any weapons. But Fusro Da will definitely affect us. Ah! Unless you have a ward up. Wards will actually block uh, Words of Power. That goes for you using wards against people using Words of Power against you, and it goes for mages using wards against you when you try to Fusro Da or use a shout against them. And that can be annoying. You'd think a full powered shout would go through a ward, but nope. Oh, we missed! And he's almost dead. I'm going to go ahead and let our magic recharge to the point where we can just finish him off. We'll fight him on this bridge here. Come at me, bro! There we go. There's the Dragonstone, and I'm only going to take this because we have plenty of carry weight to spare. The Dragonstone is going to be given to the court wizard up at Whiterun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Conjure Wolf 1. Well, we have that already. Ooh. We have minor lockpicking. Okay, that's some fairly good loot. I don't think I'm going to put this ring on. I'm probably just going to sell it. Yeah, I'm just going to sell it. Okay, and there are actually two hidden chests in here that I know of. Here's the first one. Arrow. And the other one, I probably should have gotten this one first, is behind this word wall. I never realized how big this word wall is. <laughs> not sure if they're all that big or not. I have to clarify that later when we find another one. And speaking of shouts, I think the most useful one for a mage, in my personal opinion, is the Become Ethereal Shout. And that's the one that allows you to become invulnerable for a short amount of time. It will also prevent you from doing damage to enemies. But, I don't know, I think that might come in handy because if a guy gets close to you and you are like out of magic or you are kind of helpless, just use that shout and he will not be able to hurt you for a short amount of time. First Rodal is always good. Uh, my personal favorite is tied between Fire and Frost Breath. They're just really cool. 
They don't do as much damage as you would think, but they're still pretty neat. Ice form can be really funny. You <laughs> shout, shout at someone with that. Well, with that shout, and it turns them into a block of ice. And if you can do it near a cliffside or near a hill, they'll just roll right down the hill. <laughs> That's always entertaining. Not exactly sure what I just picked up there. And this is the exit. And that is the intro dungeon. Unless you count the one at Helgen, but uh, not really. This right here is a Daedric Helmet. Probably my favorite armor in the game. Either that or Steel Plate. Steel Plate is pretty cool. Ooh, low frames. There we go. Okay, so we're going to head on back to Riverwood. Talk to Sven. Give Lucan? I think it's Lucan. Vicarious. The owner of the Riverwood Trader. His golden clawback. Collect the reward. And then I'll probably end the episode... And then in episode 4, we will go ahead and travel on to Whiterun. What time is it? 10.50. Uh, hopefully we won't encounter any mages around here. I've run into some before. Necromancers fighting each other and then they both turn on me. They can be rather difficult to deal with. Uh, yes. Anissa's cabin. I'm just a Hello. poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Really? I get so lonely out here. Do it's you? It's so nice to have a visitor. Is it? Well, she seems nice and genuine. But we'll find out in just a second that she is not. Alchemy, gonna take your book. Hope you don't mind. In case you guys didn't notice, that book was not actually labeled as steel. So we are free to take that. Let's just take a peek inside your cellar. No, that was not some weird type of innuendo. <laughs> Old lady cellar. What's this? Alchemy table, enchanting table. Actually, do we have any enchantments we can do? I don't think so. Oh, that's right. We can't disenchant things. And I think we're going to disenchant this cult, uh, great sword of cold. Because it's not extremely valuable. Boom. Did that seriously give us this much experience in enchanting? That is terrible. Ah, no filled soul gems, damn it. Oh well. Better than nothing. This is Anissa's letter. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power curse coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together, we can form a proper coven and your training will truly begin. So, she is a witch and is trying to convince someone else to join her this potent paralysis poison is worth a lot but unfortunately because we have to steal it we won't actually be able to sell it to anyone unless we join the thieves guild but I don't think we'll be doing that so let's go ahead and visit Anise again see if she has a say for herself oh how dare you wolf versus, versus wolf stop that Oh, Christ. I did not realize she was doing that much damage. Gonna have to drink some potions. Unfortunately, I don't like to do that. Now, our storm magic actually drains her magicka. That is the uh, perk of storm magic, I guess. Frost decreases stamina. Fire does extra damage. And then storm decreases magicka. Did our wolf win? No, it did not. We need more magic. 
Oh, there's our wolf. Ah, our, ours lost. I didn't make you do anything, lady. Ouch. We might need the help of... Oh, low frames. There we go. We might need the help of someone from Riverwood. Oh, we got her. Victory. And that was the final boss of Skyrim. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> hmm, boots. No, I don't want your boots. Your stinky, nasty old lady boots. can't believe that battle was that difficult. I guess because it's on Legendary and we are still, what, level 3? So that's our excuse. Still pretty embarrassing, though. <laughs> this elk really wants to get away from us. Sorry, bro. Didn't mean to scare you. Man, the game is lagtastic today. Also, for anyone who doesn't know, do not attack chickens inside of towns. People will consider it a crime and try to kill you for it. You're looking for Definitely not base? worth it. I, I am not. No I'm looking to the sell you mine. Will improve your weapons. Oops, I selected the wrong the thing. Table to improve your armor. If you've really? got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Is that what they're for? Girders. She and Why can't- Oh, he's them. not in his station. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Awesome. There we go. Now we should be able to sell our stuff. Iron or steel no? Ugh. Fancy elven stuff and elves. How about now? Sneaky type? Take a look. There we go. Nothing of use. Nothing of use. And nothing of use. Not sure why I looked, because he's the blacksmith. There we go. We are sitting at 2400. And we're going to get a little bit more from Luke in here. For returning the Golden Claw. Oh, we're almost level four. Maybe we can get a speech increase here. Because we got a few things to sell to him, too. Hello, Lucan. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Well, your life is about to get back to normal. Because I have the golden claw. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems yeah. smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna I never did understand that joke. Belongs. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Yeah. And we got 400 gold. Not bad. It means so much to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. I don't notice a difference, Trinkets, but if you say so. Ends, that sort of thing. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. Oh, he doesn't have the robes of destruction anymore. I forgot their inventory changes. Damn it, fellas. Well, I might end up getting that circlet then. <clears throat> ah, but if I do, it'll remove the hood. I think. Yeah. Damn. Damn. That does not look like a boy's tunic. Look at that frilly neckline. Uh, see, the, 
The girl's yellow dress and the boy's yellow tunic look exactly the same. Wow. Anyway. I could purchase that to help with the enchanting, but that is a lot of gold. For now, anyway. So let's go ahead and sell this junk. I'm going to hang on to the circlet in case we do find a filled soul gem. We... Hmm. We might need that. I'm going to hang on to that. Definitely won't need that. No. And no. Scrolls. Might need those. Going to hang on to those. Uh, Arvel's journal. Useless. Conjure wolf. Useless. We already have it. Thief. Useless. Oh, there we go. We did get a speech increase. I'm going to hang on to those soul gems. Because uh, I think... Farangar, the court wizard up at Whiterun, will have a soul trap spell. Probably. If not, I can always sell him up there at Whiterun. That should be everything we need. Till next time. Okay, let's go talk to Sven. Tell him his honor is still intact. What little there is. Okay, our base magic is now 130. Can't get any more destruction perks. I think I'm going to invest in Conjuration. Conjuration is actually my favorite magic school. Oh, sweet. All Conjuration spells last 15% longer. Excellent. Okay, don't need to worry about those. I don't normally get the Conjuration dual casting. I, don't, I wouldn't use it very often. I'm pretty sure Sven is in here. Feindal thinks he can move Camilla oh, there he is. away from me. Gorgar. She's already mine, I keep telling Gorgar. him. Are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Okay, that was an awkward conversation. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. I do too. Wow, 25 gold. You shouldn't have. Well, I didn't know he became a follower. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's very useful. You're that visitor, Ben poking a fool. Yeah, I'm poking around. Don't mind me, just poking around. We got room for food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Cool story, bro. And I think that is all we need here from Riverwood for now. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope to see you in the next episode where we travel to Whiterun and see what Jarl Balgriff is up to. Uh, yeah, that's it. So take care, everyone, and see you guys later.